Hi there YouTube, this is Puck. Today I have the Samsung GTI 9070. I think it's called the Samsung Galaxy Advance. I'm not even sure. We're gonna look it up because I also uh, got a higher build of Android and this thing is not jailbroken, it's not rooted. So in fact, um, yeah, it's an original phone and I'm just gonna update it and we're gonna update this together. needed for the upgrade of course will be a sam mobile so go to sammobile.com create an account you know and of course get your uh, build just type uh, the name of the phone that you see in the settings and find the rom download the rom of course also for your provider and in the netherlands i think that was t-mobile and well let's go ahead and do it we need the rum and we need a tool called Arden it's important thing that we need to do is put the phone into a download mode to do that we will simply turn off the phone let's turn it off turn off the phone yep we turn it off okay and when it's turned off when the lights here are off gonna wait a second let it turn off mm, okay so now we're gonna hit the volume button down this is the volume button see that that's the volume button we're gonna we're gonna hold down the home button and then we're gonna press power on and then we let go of the power but we keep holding these two buttons as you can see we will get an exclamation mark and by hitting the volume button up we will be into download mode so we're gonna leave it in download mode because soon we're gonna connect it to Arden and then in this mode we can simply uh, upgrade the phone so let's go do it we will have to do this on a Windows computer so I'm waking up my special Windows machine it's waking up it's of course the very popular Inspiron 6000 yep the one that can be a Mac it can be anything you want it to be but it's running Windows now so let's look in and I already told you we will need a tool that's right you will need a tool and the tool is called Arden there is a new version already out there so you can go ahead and try that one but I used for this phone version 3.7 but now the next step very important USB drivers very important is to install the Samsung USB drivers so you know device manager will see your phone in my case I had other USB drivers installed for the MTK phone so in fact yeah the Samsung was found but it was not found the way it should be found so I just selected that driver that device in you know device manager saying um, Android device and then Samsung you know I selected that one and I updated it with the Samsung uh, uh, drivers by just uh, saying upgrade here you're gonna see it we're gonna hit upgrade and uh, we're gonna browse to the folder where we have these drivers we're just gonna point to the folder and the rest will go fully automatic in my case I had to select the device that was found uh, with the other USB driver and simply hit uh, install updated driver and then browse to the folder where I had my Samsung drivers and simply point it to that folder okay don't go in the folder and try to point to something just point to the folder and Windows itself will look in the folder what it needs and it will install them you know really easy so you won't have to worry about which driver to select and which one to point to so just point 
to the driver folder. There you go. The driver is being installed. And as soon as this driver is installed and we have no exclamation marks in the device manager, the phone will be recognized in Arden. So we can start the flashing. We now, of course, want to run Arden. I'm going to use 3.7. I'm just going to run the little blue icon. And boom, you will see that Arden is connected. Can you see that there on top? Yeah, you probably cannot see it too good, but it's connected there at COM1. And uh, yeah, it's yeah. I'm gonna point to the um, to the upgrade file by hitting uh, the PDA and just browse to the driver, the yeah, the software, the firmware, the Android version that we downloaded from Sam Mobile. And then um, as soon as the file is loaded. As you know, it's a big file. This one was 800 something megabytes. It needs to load in Arden first and it uh, will show not responding uh, for a while. So don't you worry about it. Just um, let it do its thing. And uh, yeah, soon after that, you can hit start and then the flashing will be performed. And there you go. We hit the start button and we are flashing the phone now in high speed as you can see on your computer it will not go so fast I'm on a very super computer so that's why it's going a little bit faster so um, after this is done uh, completely your phone will reboot and then a little Android will come well let's go to that part boom we're almost there and now as soon as we see the little green saying us uh, telling us successfully uh, flashed success then the phone will also reboot and the rebooting will go first to the boot screen as you will see so you should not really worry when you see this and then it's gonna reboot one more time you see that you might think that you're in a boot loop none is true because now it's going to, you know, uh, kind of bring the Android to life. There you can see it. Android is being programmed. And, uh, yeah, when this is done, it will reboot. And now we will go straight up to the Samsung logo. And, of course, it will then have to install the little uh, apps in this case we did the upgrade so in fact we won't lose any file on our phone because we did not uh, uh, clean up anything we did not do a clean install first we did not wipe everything so you know all the files will be there your pictures etc everything will still be there you know even your home theme will be there only your build number will be higher of your android we will be on 4.1.2 and that while we could only uh, be on 237 because this thing was never upgraded this thing was still on 37 237 that is gingerbread so in fact yeah the rest of the procedure you will find out how it works the last little steps and as you can see I still have my own home screen all my apps are still there and we are now on a higher build we are now on 4.1.2 I hope that you can see it a little bit Well, peeps, as you could see, it was not so hard. Only thing that we needed was a Windows machine. We needed a tool called Odin. We needed to put this thing into a download mode. And we needed a ROM that we could get at Sam Mobile. So it was not hard to do. And this, my friends, is how to infect, uh, up upgrade and fix and reinstall Android on any Samsung phone okay I did not select wipe and repartition in Arden that's why all my files were still on here so in fact if you want to have a clean uh, phone back you know like a phone that you must give away not with your files on it then you must do a wipe a clean 
up before you're gonna do this before you do the upgrade you reset to brand new deleting all files and all settings and then simply do what i showed you and you will have a fantastic phone uh, for yeah the rest of the time that the phone will live this is how to upgrade the samsung galaxy advanced um yeah and this is of course the official way how to do it if you think this video was uh useful please like subscribe and of course, see you in my next video again.